All right, guys, today I'm going to attempt showing you how to set up for YouTube streaming from the VMix software. So if you want to do live stream from VMix software, how do you set up? First, you need to have your YouTube account as usual. So once you have a YouTube account, what do you do? You move to your My Channels page. You just want to access your video, so you go to Video Manager. Now, once you are in Video Manager, below the videos, which is highlighted red, you are going to see Live Events. Click on Live Events, and then you select Create a Live Event. So once you select Create a Live Event, it brings you to this page. And what do you do? You select your, um, what do you call it, title, then your description. Then you have to select when you want to broadcast, you know, so you set your time. When you're broadcasting now, or you choose a particular time, whenever you choose your time, then you are ready to go. It gives you an option of how you want to do it, whether you want to do it through Google Hangouts or through a custom, obviously you're doing custom because it's coming from your system. And so you see that the moment I chose custom, it has changed the time to the nearest um, on the clock time. I'm doing it this recording at in 13 hours. So it's, it's giving me the 14 hours at the next time. So you have to always check and be sure the time there is the time that you want. If you're recording three hours time, set it to three hours time. If never set it to um, a time when you're not ready to start because what it will, what will happen is that you tell the people that you are about to start when you are not ready to start. Likewise, if you started, make sure that your time is showing in the hours, the time that you started. If it's showing that um, you haven't started, meanwhile you've started, then you're going to have no stream going through until the time you set is up. You can select how you want the stream to go out. So public means everybody can view it. Unlisted means that it's available, but only for those who have a link or the description of the video to search for it. Private would mean that nobody can have access except you. So once you've done that, you can add a message to your video for viewers to know what is going on. Then you come here and you select your tags. So what are your tags? Whatever it is you're broadcasting about, is there news about USA and uh, Volcano? Whatever it is, you know, you choose your tax, then you set up your tax in there. Um, make sure you select the country where you are broadcasting from. I'm doing this for the UK, so I'll have to change my country to the UK. Then, um, yeah, so everything is set up here. Then you go to create event. Then after a short while of setting up your everything you need for you, it will now come here to create events. You can see that you are moving instead at the top here. First of all, info and settings, which we are now have what you call injection settings. This is what you're going to need your various inputs that you're going to use. It's a very important page and it's the most demanding part of it. It's not too complex. Once you go through it once, you're yeah, okay. So just pay attention carefully and let's go through it. Thumbnail is the image you want to be your cover. Of the video that you're going to produce. If you don't want any cover and you want it to choose from the video itself, just leave it blank. But if you want to have a cover image, you go to browse and you choose it and you cover it. Basic injection is to select your output, whatever you're producing from where you are, to match uh, it here. So if you're producing 1080p, 720p, 480p, make sure you select it to match it here and that will give you your basic injection. The next thing is going to ask you is how are you going to transmit? Are you going to use flash media live encoder, the most popular means of transmitting, or you have any other means of encoder you're going to use? You have up to you to choose. If you say other encoders, it's going to give you some options to fail in here. But I'm setting this up for flash media live encoder. So you choose your flash media and it give you these options. If you don't have flash media, it's free. Just click on the link there, it will download it for you, you install it, and it's a very beautiful um, platform. What you're going to get is this. Alright, so that will be your flash media live encoder. This is what you will get. So once you have this, you're now going to set up almost everything in here to match up with your system. Alright, so because you are using vmix video, you have to select vmix video, so over here you're selecting your inputs, 
Alright, I have various camera inputs here, and Vimeo's video is one of them. So you have to make sure you select Vimeo's video because you're going to transmit live from a Vimeo. And once you do that, your format will be set to H.264 because you're transmitting to a website. Then your frame rate must match the frame rate of your video. Then you choose your input size. Remember, we did 1080 here, so you have to push the 1080 here as well. Your bit rate must match the bit rate that you did here. So when you did a live encoder, 3000 to 6000 kilobytes per second. So that must match it here. So this one too must go higher up, all right, to a level that can match. And over here we have, I think, 2005. Uh, then you have 20,000. 20,000 is really high. So I said 2005. We should be. Uh, fairly okay for my production purposes. So once I set that up here, that is okay here. Now I come to my audio. The audio too, I have to make sure I choose Vmix audio because it's coming from Vmix video. It's an MP3 format. All these are okay. A bit rate normally one to eight. That is fine. Your volume is set. Then you're okay. The most important part now is this part. Your output. What is the Flash Media Live sending out? So the Flash Media is going to send out to your YouTube account so it needs a way to uh, link up with a youtube account that is where the download file comes in here so you see the export sessions download file you open your download file it, it downloads for you a text file then when you come into your text file you now have to search for a few things from all these melee of information so you need your youtube um, unique URL which is hidden somewhere in there. So if you come here, go to see C data, you're looking for this C data information. So you see one C data here, one C data here, another C data there. These are the two main things you are looking for. So the first C data will give you your unique YouTube URL. So what you do is that you come here and you select the RTMP, blah blah blah, all the way to this only the ones within the parenthesis you select it you copy it then you come into your flash media encoder and i'm going to put that as a unique youtube uh, what do you call it what, what you set it up there that will direct the youtube um, live stream platform or the youtube live stream platform live too once you select that it will set it up there for you then you come back in here now need your unique key so your unique key will always start with your channel name then a few letters and alphabets and others following once you select that um you copy that as well then you come into your flash media encoder then you paste that into your stream key so that'll be a stream key so once you paste that in there everything is ready for you the other two you need if you want to do a backup url then you have to go back to your system here you see backup profile you download it is similar to the the file you open and you also have your backup um, what do you call it you have your your backup url similar to this one that you input here what backup url does for you is that in case you are transmitting and there's a, tra a breaking transmission or anything the backup URL will quickly fill in the gap then that kind of stuff for you so that's why you need it but i don't set it up anyway so once you've done that then you are almost ready to start transmitting so your media live encoder is set up when you click connect it's going to attempt connecting to the youtube account straight away and then it will remain connected all it's waiting for you to do now is for you to send it and um, what do you call it data you need to send it data and if you do so it's going to you know work for you so if i let me see. I'm going to connect and I'm on start. Alright, so this will attempt sending data to this one. Once I've done everything right there, what I need to do, now I say start your encoder, which I've done, then you go to live control room. When I click on live control room, it's going to bring me to preview. Then this end here is going to show me whether or not I am okay. Says, when it says good, it means that it is receiving signal from the live FML in the encoder. It's receiving signal from it, so it means that I'm ready to go. All right, but they're not fully ready. It only means that I've managed to successfully connect my computer 
to the YouTube live stream system. So that's a social con connection. What I need to do now is to do similar thing as I did in the Flash Media Live Encoder. Do it also in my VMix. So I come into my VMix now and I'll go to my stream settings. I click on the settings button. It opens this up for me. The unique URL um, link to the live stream system of YouTube. I have to put that one here again. So I did the first one. And the stream key I did, I put a stream key here as well. So once I do that for both, I am okay. Um, destination, I have to select custom RTMP. Then I set my input size to reflect exactly as I did it in the uh, module called FMLE 192080 frame rate and everything, which will also match what I'm producing from here anyway. Make sure your quality is set to H264 1080p if you're doing 1080p work. And then application you are transmitting, you are trying to connect with this particular settings is your flash media life encoder. So make sure that is selected. Once all of this is done, you are ready to roll. Advanced is where you set up your backup streams. So you see the backup stream here. You can do that as well for your app if you want, if you do if you do use backup streams. But I know I do use it, so I don't set it up. Once you are set and done, you can now click start. When you click start and you come to um, your flash media, it should now show you your what do you call it? Your VMix. So it's not only VMix; it's what is showing here. Then, if this everything is correct, when you go now to your YouTube page and you click on preview, you're going to ask you, do you really want to preview? You say yes, you want to preview. Then you click on your preview panels over here. You're going to see that you have two um, screens. You have your preview and you have a public view. So preview helps you to see what's about to go out, and the public view will be the one that we use to. And what do you call it? Go public. It shows you what is showing to the public. So that is that. So you see that now it is showing me what I am doing. All right. So this is the yeah. This is the video coming from a live stream and uh, from my VMs because I'm doing this live. And so it's, as you can see, it's recording and showing everything from my screen. It's how producing this video. So that is how it is. If you are happy with what you're seeing. And they're ready to go live. You click start streaming. Then it goes. Live. As you click start streaming, you can now see in the public view. Then you are ready to roll. Always note that in the public view, it always lags a bit, and uh, I found about a minute or even more of lagging. And it's been done so, so you can have the opportunity to you know cut things off if you don't want to and all that. So you need to learn how to use. All these insertions, slit insertion, among other things, which you can use to add a stuff, create highlights and all that, to add stuff to your video as you produce it. Alternatively, you can do all of these in VMix. It's much easier. So I know I don't work with this at all. I just use VMix for what I need to do, or any kind of control I need from there. So basically, that is how it is. Once you set up here, you are done. The beauty of VMix is that. You only need to do this particular work here only once. Once you do this and you close this, you don't have to um, come up here. You don't have to keep coming back here for anything. In VMix, over here, once you set it up once, in the FMLE, the Flash Media Live Encoder, you don't need to go back there again and again and again. Any changes you do here, in vmix automatically reflects also in the flash media live encoder automatically reflects that is the beauty of this vmix program so it picks it up then it will keep changing and updating it for you you will need a new key every day not a new url but a new key for every fresh um, live stream that you have to do so anytime you have to do it you have to go through the whole cycle again go to the youtube account uh, select on your live events once you select on live events it will now give you option to create live events then you set it up then you download your primary file then you bring your primary in your primary file you get your key then you use your key in your live stream the streaming option on the VMIX you mix here you put it in there you save and close then you are ready to stream. Anytime you're ready to stream, once you click on stream, that is that. It will go automatically. You won't have to worry about anything. 
you don't have to worry about anything. And that's exactly how it works. And as you do so, you realize that everything works. So you, know, you notice that even though I closed the FM early, and when I was closing it, it asked me whether I want to close. Because if I close streaming, I stop. I say, yes, close. But still streaming it didn't stop. Why? Because VMix keeps it open and it's directly linked to it. And that is how it goes. So once you produce, um, you do it all correctly, you are ready to roll. So guys, that is how you set up YouTube to stream from live um, from Vimix, live stream from Vimix into YouTube. If you like this video, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Okay, bye-bye.